Today we're going to be taking a look at the Briggs & Stratton S1800 electric pressure washer. This is their smallest electric pressure washer unit that they make. It's 1800 PSI and you can see here they got a little chart. This unit's good for patio furniture, vehicles, sidewalks and stuff like that. And then it's and you got the gray here which it says it's decent or good. Uh, it's good at doing docks and piers, fences, and garage doors and stuff like that. You can see here it's a tiered list and there are other models that go up to 21 to 3100 PSI and 3200 to 4000 PSI. Uh, they're pretty much great all across the board here for pressure washing other stuff. For the most part for what I'm going to be using this for is going to be washing cars, equipment, patio furniture, power wash and stuff like that. One thing I did think was cool is it comes with the detergent tank. You can see right here so you can just put the soap in there and soap down like any vehicles or anything like that that you plan to power wash. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this thing and test it out. All right, the assembly was incredibly easy. The only tool you needed was a screwdriver. The instructions were straightforward, so now I'm gonna get it hooked up, and the first thing I'm gonna test it out on is on my propane tank. The bottom of it is incredibly filthy, so I'm gonna test it out on this and see how it does. I'm really pleased with how the pressure washer performed. It cleaned up this propane tank really well. Uh, next I'm going to try out putting some detergent in the uh, soap reservoir here. And I'm going to go ahead and power wash my lawnmower and the gator. So yeah, my last electric power washer actually quit working on me. Just a garage sale find, wasn't nothing too crazy. Uh, but it quit working, so that meant I haven't been able to power wash the lawnmower, the gator, the tractor really anything like that pretty much all summer. So this is the soap that I decided to try out. It's from a brand called Chemical Guys. Uh, this is a body wash plus wax. And I just picked this up right on Amazon. So I'll test this out and see how it does. So I'm to make sure you put the right tip on. This black one is for when you're using the foaming soap. All right, I'm pretty happy with how the power washer performed. Cleaned the equipment up nicely. I like the soap feature, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna run one last test on a piece of aged treated lumber. I'm gonna power wash that just to kind of simulate power washing a wooden deck. And we'll see how that does.
All in all, I am impressed with the Briggs & Stratton electric pressure washer. For my needs, I think it's going to be the perfect power washer, mainly just pressure washing equipment, tractors, also some odds and ends things like the propane tank, maybe a deck in the future. Because of how light it is and easy to move around, I think it's a great pressure washer to have at your house. Uh, for me, I think it's more than suitable. You know, if you have large decks you need to power wash or a big slab or sidewalks or things like that, maybe I'd recommend you go with the gas powered pressure washer. Um, but if you're just doing stuff like me, power washing equipment, this power washer is more than suitable, especially for the $130 price point. Really can't go wrong. Um, in comparison to, you know, some gas power washers, it's a fraction of the cost. So if you are interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.